There was one more launch last week. On Saturday, yesterday, India tested their new Small Satellite Launch Vehicle, or SSLV, for the first time. Intended to provide a less expensive launch option for small satellites so that they don't have to wait around to share a ride with a larger payload, this was SSLV's first orbital launch. On board were the 300-pound or 135-kilogram EOS-02 Earth Observation Satellite and an 18-pound, 8-kilogram CubeSat called AzadiSat. Minus 20 seconds. Minus 14 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Plus 5 seconds. Stop. Normal. P1 tracking. PT tracking. P2 tracking. P2 tracking. That was a brilliant trip to offer sight to behold. Prajolan or Safalta Poon Uthapan SSL. Now let's rewind a moment here. Let's, uh. Oh god. Let's take a moment to pay our respects to this poor, unsuspecting, uh, bird just next to the launch pad um you can see this little black bird to the to the lower right of the launch pad uh he's hopping around um i am pretty sure that he did not make it but uh so rest in peace little bird so um uh, sslv is a three-stage solid fueled rocket Fueled, fueled by hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene, or HTPB, plus a liquid fueled velocity trimming module for precise deployment of the satellites. SSLV's staging looked good all the way up until the final stage, but mission controllers lost communications with the rocket in the final fl phase of the flight. What happened was there was a sensor failure that the rocket was unable to recover from and the final burn lasted for only a fraction of a second rather than the planned 20 seconds. This resulted in the satellites being delivered into an unstable 356 kilometer by 76 kilometer orbit. Now 76 kilometers is within the upper atmosphere, so the satellites were lost. Uh, losing the payload is unfortunate, but the rocket still performed pretty well for a first test flight. Uh, hopefully next time they will have um, 100% success.